Good morning friends. I hope everyone is doing well. In the last videos, we have discussed how to construct an NFA. Few examples we have discussed. In this video, I want to discuss how to convert an NFA to a DFA. Now, why we should convert an NFA to DFA? The NFA is non-deterministic. Suppose from a state on taking an alphabet, I can go to more than one state. If I go to a correct state, I may reach to the final state. If I go to a wrong state, then I may not go to a final state. So there is a confusion and even yesterday we have discussed a few examples related to it. And remember this point always, the power of NFA or the capability of NFA is equivalent to the capability of DFA. Is it clear? What is meant by the capability or the power is that whatever any language if you take, okay, language L of M or language, some language L1 if you take, if you can construct an NFA, you can easily construct a DFA. Is it clear? If you take any language L, if you can construct an NFA, you can construct a DFA. But construction of NFA is quite easy as compared to the construction of DFA. Yesterday we have, when we are discussing the examples also, we faced the situation. So construction of NFA is quite easy as compared to the construction of DFA. But there is a problem with NFA. So that's why people have gone to find a solution. Means can we convert an NFA to a DFA? So that's what we have an algorithm. So in this video, I want to discuss the algorithm or procedure how to convert an NFA to DFA. And in the coming videos, I will discuss these steps with an examples for better understanding. Let me read out. Let M is equal to Q sigma delta Q naught F is a NFA. Okay, they have constructed a M which is an NFA which accepts the language L of M. If you have a NFA, obviously it will accept a language L of M. The equivalent DFA denoted by M dash which is having Q dash, Sigma dash, Delta dash, Q naught dash, F dash. So you have an equivalent. Let me explain it properly so that you can understand better way. You have a mission M which is an NFA. Okay, and it accepts the long ways L of M. And you have an equivalent DFA which is M dash, you have an equivalent DFA. And it accepts the long ways. If you have a DFA mission, it will accept the long ways L of M dash. Now, what can I say the relation between long ways L of M and long ways L M dash? Can I say they are equivalent? Yes. If they are equivalent, then only I can say that you have converted the NFA to a DFA properly. Otherwise, your conversion is wrong. Let me repeat again. You have a NFA of mission M which accepts the long ways L of M. And you have found the equivalent DFA for this NFA. That's what the equivalent DFA denoted by M dash. So you have a mission M dash which is a DFA which was obtained from the NFA M. And any DFA or any finite automata will accept some long ways. So let's take that as this mission is M dash, the long ways accepted by this one is L of M dash. Then what is the relation between these two long ways? They all be equal. Is it clear? If they are equal, then only I can say that the conversion is correct. Otherwise, the conversion is wrong. Okay. Now, let me read out the step one. Initially Q dash. What is the Q dash? Q dash is the set of states in the DFA. Q dash is a set of states in the DFA. You make it initially empty. Okay. Because you are first still finding the states. So initially you take the set of states as empty. Then let me read out the step two. Add Q naught. What is Q naught? Initial state of a NFA. Q naught is an initial state of NFA to Q dash. So initially Q dash is em empty. Then in step two, you will add initial state Q naught you will add in the states of the DFA, which is Q naught is a initial state of NFA. So add initial state of a NFA to Q dash. Then find the transition from the state. Obviously, if you take the NFA from the initial state, you will have some transitions. Is it clear? So add those transitions. So find the transitions of from Q naught from the NFA. In NFA, you have initial state. From initial state, you will have a transitions. Am I right? If from initial states, if you don't have any transition to the NFA, then I can say that the remaining states are unreachable states. 
Am I right? When I can say that a state is reachable from initial state, if you can go to that state, then only I can say that it is a reachable state. So, from initial state, at least you will find a transition on some alphabet. So, find those transitions from that state. Now, step 3 in Q dash, okay, find the possible set of states for each input symbol. Is it clear? Let me discuss on Q naught. Let's take that in NFA on Q naught on A and B. Okay, you are going to Q1 and here you are going to Q2 and Q1. Let's take that. This is an NFA. So, if it is an NFA on Q0 on A, it is going to Q1. Q0 on B, it is going to more than one state. It is possible. Now, what, that's what they are saying. In Q dash, find the possible set of states from each input symbol. Okay. And now, if these states, if this set of states is not in Q dash, if you see that Q1 is not in the Q dash, Q2, Q1 is not there in the Q dash, then you add them. Then add to Q dash. So now you will have three states. Q naught, already Q naught is there. Q1 will be the new state. And another state is Q2, Q1. This will act as a single state. It will not act as a two states. It will act as a single state. Just for our understanding, I am telling. Is it clear? Are you able to understand? It will completely accept, take as a one single state. Okay. So now you have three states. Q naught, Q1 and you have a new state called Q2, Q1 combinedly. Is it clear? Just for example, I am telling. In detail, I will take few examples and I will explain in the next videos. Don't worry. In DFA, the final state will be, because initial state will be Q0 itself in the DFA also. Because any DFA, if you take, you should have an initial state. The initial state of NFA will act as a initial state in the DFA. Now come to the final state. In DFA, the final state will be all the states which contains F. Now F is what? F is in final state in NFA. Let's take that. This final state is some Q2. Okay, final state in NFA is Q2. Now, you will in once you completed the step 3, you will get all the states which are possible in DFA. Now, wherever the Q2 is there, let's take this somewhere else, Q2, Q3 is there. Okay, this is what you have constructed. Now, Q2 is here, Q2 is here. So, these two states, this will act as a one final state, this will act as a another final state. See, in any DFA or NFA, you can have more than one final state. So, wherever the final state of NFA is there, all those states will act as a final states in the DFA. Okay, so I hope you have understand the procedure or steps of how to convert an NFA to DFA. If you did not understand, don't worry, I will take few examples and explain them in a better way. Okay, and thank you so much for listening to my video. Thank you so much.